Okay then, let's jump right in and uh, let's answer some questions on constituents of the atom. So first question is explain what is meant by an isotope. This comes up all the time in exams. It's well worth having a standard answer for it. So what is meant by an isotope? Well, it's the same element but with a different number of neutrons. Now if it's the same, oops, I need a pen. If it's the same element, that means it's got the same atomic number. Remember how we were looking at, for example, carbon 12, carbon 12, now the atomic number is that guy there. Remember this one, up there, it was, it's got the symbol Z, but, so it's the same element, same atomic number, but with different, different numbers of neutrons, different numbers, numbers of neutrons, i.e. it's got different mass number, different mass number. Remember the mass number is also called the nucleon number, so you can describe it either way. Let's see, let's uh, spell that correctly, shall I? Nucleon number. Okay, so same element, same atomic number, but with different numbers of neutrons. Learn that, write it down, make sure you've got it absolutely uh, down for, uh, for rote. Uh, and remember here is the nucleon number, that's got the simple A, and uh, a, a typical isotope of carbon would be carbon-14. It's got the same atomic number, but we've got an extra two neutrons in there. Okay, moving on. Let's take a look at the next one. So we've got a table now, and we've got two isotopes of uranium. Two isotopes of uranium. The first isotope has got 92 protons. The, it's got 143 neutrons in there. So if we were to add those two together, then we would get the mass number. Yes, you're right, the nucleon number. And, okay, we've got something called the specific charge of the nucleus. We've got some numbers written in here. Let's see what the first question is. Write the unit for the specific charge in the heading of the last column of the table. Well, specific charge, what does that word specific mean? Well, if you ever see that, think mass. In fact, think per mass. So what this is saying is that it's, it's the charge per mass. In other words, it's coulombs, capital C, per kilogram. So there's the per, per kilogram, specific mass, specific charge. Uh, you may have also heard that in uh, specific heat capacity and specific latent heat. Again, it's per mass. Question two. In the above table, write down the number of protons in the second isotope in the table. Well, it's a bit of a, it's only a one mark question, so it's a write down, we don't need to do any calculations. And this is an isotope, so if it's an isotope of uranium, then it must have the same number of protons, because that's what defines it as an element. If it had 93 protons, it'll be a different element. So there we are, 92 for the second one. One mark. Okay. Part three, calculate the specific charge, there it is again, of the first isotope and write this in the table. Now this is a three marker, so we need to do some calculations here. We need the specific charge of the first isotope. We know that it has 92 protons, and we know how many in total it's got, how many nucleons in total. So let's just write down a few things that we know. We know that the number Oops, wrong color. Let's do a lighter color. How about this? So the number of protons is 92. Now, what else do we know? Well, we know that the, the nucleon number, A, now that's going to be the number of protons plus the number of neutrons. So 92 plus 143. 92 plus 143, and uh, a bit of mental maths now, what have we got, that would be 243 
So we're talking 233, 235. Just check my maths on that. At 100 you get 243, and minus 10 you get 233 plus 2. That's right. Okay, so what do we, uh, what can we figure out from these numbers? Well, the first one, we know that each new, each proton has a charge of 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. So if we multiply those together, times by 92, we will get, we will get, he said, come on, calculator work, 92 times 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19, we will get 1.47 times 10 to the, uh, my calculator stopped working, <laughs> if in doubt hit it, ah here we go, 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19, ha huh, ninja tactics you see, times by 92, here we go, 1.47 times 10 to the minus 17. I hope you can just see that hopefully. Uh, that will be in coulombs. What does this tell us? Well we can work out the mass from this because the mass would be um, of the whole nucleus this is. So it would be 235 times the mass of each proton and nu neutron. Now they have slightly different masses, protons and neutrons, but they're effectively the same thing. If we take a look at a, um, where are we going? We're going here. If we take a look at your formula sheet, you'll see that the proton mass, here it is, is 1.67 times 10 to the minus 27. And that's about the same as the neutron mass. So 1.67 times 10 to the minus 27. 1.67 times 10 to the minus 27. And that's going to give us 1.67 times 10 to the minus 27 multiplied by 235, we get 3.92 times by 10 to the minus 25. That's in kilograms. So we're nearly there now. We've got coulombs, we've got kilograms, and specific charge is charge per mass. So a specific charge. Specific charge equals equals uh, 1.47 times 10 to the minus 17 divided by 3.92 times 10 to the minus 25. Don't worry about putting the units in here when you're doing the calculations. It's best not to. And let's see what that gives us. 1.47 times 10 to the minus 17. That gives us a large number, and it works out as about 3.75 times 10 to the 7 coulombs per kilogram. Now that, that kind of makes sense. If you had a kilogram of protons and neutrons, then it would have 10, 3 times 3.75 times 10 to the 7 coulomb. So there we are. There's our specific charge of this uranium isotope. Okay, so let's carry on and take a look at part 4.